First tonight, the man accused of killing the Rainier police chief seven years ago faces the possibility of the death penalty if he ever goes to trial. A hearing started today to decide if Daniel Butts and his case will even move forward. Our Lisa Balick is live in St. Helens where court has just ended. Lisa, did anything happen today? Not just yet, because the prosecution is trying to prove that Daniel Butts is mentally able to aid in his own defense to try and get this trial finally moving forward. In court, Daniel Butts didn't say a word. Listening to a psychologist talk about her conversations with him at the Oregon State Hospital. That's where he's been living since the shooting seven years ago. His belief that he was acting in self-defense, um, that he was under physical attack and that he was acting in self-defense, that he feared for his life. Butts looked very different than he has in past court appearances. This time he was wearing a suit. He was clean shaven and had a haircut. He's accused of murdering Rainier Police Chief Ralph Painter when Painter responded to a call at a local automotive shop back in 2011 and got into a struggle there with Butts. Butts has been at the state hospital where psychologists say he's taking antipsychotic medication. In court today, it appears he may claim the shooting was in self-defense based on psychologist's testimony and what his father had to say outside the courtroom. Oregon also owns the embarrassing and totally humiliating behavior of Ralph Painter. Blatant disregard for extensive training safety protocol consequently cost the chief his life with his own gun. For Ralph Painter's family, the hope is the judge find Butts able to go to trial. They hold on to their memories of the police chief, a brother, a father, a husband. He loved doing what he did, and that's what he lived for. A trial on the murder charges is not scheduled until a year from now. So to recap again, what's happening this week is inside the courtroom, a judge listening to testimony, mostly from psychologists, whether or not then he will decide if Butts is fit to move forward with the trial. We'll keep you posted as the week unfolds. Live in St. Helens, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. Thank